Why, hello everyone, I am the GRJ's MK, or Surfer, or Surfer, or Sir Chill, however you want us to talk about it. Um, I want to do some something a little different. I want to talk about some things I would like to change for Watcher Realms. This is also just going to be like a... Thank you, dog. Uh, one take, not really, but off the cuff, no script, uh, thoughts and ideas on to improve the game. First thing, more epics. Because we've only had, as of recording, which is February 22nd of 2024, we have only gained two or three epics after, after the release of the game. Which is not a good thing, in the fact that the rest have been five stars. But, one thing I would like to see is just more, is see buffs. I don't think I've seen any real buffs and changes besides, I think, Cyclone, for example. I think he was the only one that was like that his kit was completely changed. We'll just, we'll just go to the gallery for this because, like, a good example I want to see. I want to even though there's he's, this is a really good character. I want to see Olak get like a buff of some sort. You know, he's a really good defender. He's a really solid defender. That's just in my opinion. But I would like to see this piece in his Awakened Five become his Awakened Three, and in turn. I was awakened five, be like maybe it'd be a ten to twenty five percent chance. You can choose how the it goes to ref to reflect one hundred and fifty percent of the damage dealt to the attacker. That can be it can make him work. It can make him actually a very more annoying defender to deal with, and also kind of help him with a bit more tanking, especially when he's ulting. That could be when he's ulting. Uh, another another thing I want to see for. Like changes for like buffs. I want to see like three stars getting like four to four or five star variants that you can fuse up uh, three stars into to make things a little easier to make them actually kind of viable. Let's say it takes like four to six of the of copies to turn them into the enhanced form and get an increase their power increase their power quite a bit. Let's just grab. Doo -doo 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 -doo. Let's just grab Voltus for example. I mean his range I think go I think sits it there and then it goes and increases in lane when he ults. But it can have a weaken effect where it has an extra chance to chain off of the ult. It can set up up to five enemies, it goes up to seven enemies, and it does more AoE damage. It also has a chance to stun the opponents when they're hit. Give the, a little more enhanced change to increase the character's utility. That's a that, that's something I could probably see happen. Like a, a solid example for Watchguard in Camille, for example, having her ult in because in, in town, it can be like, oh yeah, she has a she has a chance to heal more than one target. That could be really good. You, you can there are so many things you can do for the game to make it better, and there's there's a, there's, there's a lot of units in the game that need that would if they're bumped up with some form of stat increase or like some part in their kit to be enhanced, they could be a lot more viable and not force people to just shell out a ton of money just to try and get the legendaries. Enhancing the four enhancing the epics and the rares would be a really good call and to make things better in the long run. Now for another for a character I want to see get buffs, I, I want to see Ezra get a buff. I actually do kind of want to see him get a buff in some form because yes, he can yes, this is with his for Fortune Grade 5 and also he can heal beyond his attack range. You can make it to where it gets to he can enhance to where the the maximum reduction can be he can get he can get down to reduce the thirty percent, which would be really really good instead of just being the reduction effect to being forty at at level five. And then when you can have with this effect, you can also have it triggered like addition like every thirty seconds instead of instead of thirty five when it's capped out. The single target it could be it could be two allies for example that could be really solid. And with this. They can also go like, oh yeah, if this can stay as one, but this can go up to, let's say this can go up to three. Giving, give, that'd also be really good as well. Making him also a lot more viable. He is a, yeah, he's also attack based healing. Which is not something that I ultimately know, because I know some of the best healers are attack based healers. 
but trying to make them try to make a couple more based off HP is he's he's that but I believe Sadie is HP yes yeah, Sadie's HP okay I want to see Sadie get buff I really do want to see Sadie get buff because I think she would be worth getting a buff to where she's a little more viable in in-game content be it uh, healing healing effect increase or HP percent extra scaling or even for the ult on when it when it takes the damage it's a lot less damage than than you take so instead of only take 40% they can only take 30% or even 20% yes it will lose HP over the over that time frame but it's a, it's a lot less HP they'll be losing and the initial bits so it allow them to actually get further into doing more DPSing and eventually more healing at, at, as a whole um I don't. I think Vortex is fine. There's so many characters in here I know that are good, and I think they're solid, and I kind of do want them to stay in some form. Uh, Nazarus. Uh, Navaros, my bad. Uh, I want his. I want to see him get a damage buff. I actually do, because I think his kit's interesting, and he is one of those one of those characters that would definitely need that would benefit from a buff. Osiren is probably my number one unit. I would probably say we need a buff because. Having his attack interval be so short does hurt him greatly. It ultimately does. Because having him... Yeah, he should be gaining a, a benefit off of attack speed. Even if he doesn't increase the basic attack, the attack speed itself, give it to like more, for every attack speed he has, it does more damage. You can easily, easily put that into his kit to where that damage, it's like the DOT happens a lot faster. You could easily do that. And it's like every, like, let's say, 10% increase of attack speed that he would get increases the, increases the damage tick by 5% AoE damage. You could absolutely do that. It would it would make him a lot more viable. And also, you can have it to where his ult can, he, when he activates the effect, he can also still use his Racer Bagler basic attacks. And if that, if at, at alone, can also be really good for him. If you can do that, that would be really, really strong, and probably would make him a lot more viable in a lot of content. These are just, a, I'm just going to do a few, uh, what are maybe two more examples, and that'll, that'll be it. Uh, Scorch. This is a character that I actually do kind of like, and he kind of helped me through early game. But I do want to see him as well buffed. I want to see him do a bit more. Damage. I wanted to see him do, possibly gain a like a, a side increase in his range. For example, maybe give him instead of just being a line, be like a be like a stand, be like a range that arrogance has. For example, when he ults, when it's like not only did he doubles his attack, but he can also hit more enemies at the same time. That could absolutely be really, really strong for him. Yeah, because he increases his attack up to 50% and of course he takes less damage than the ults that's fine but have if you can increase the the range to just be a the, st the standard range that arrogance has bes besides the extra bit here that would make him so much more viable and give him a lot more damage output and put him in a lot more useful content and probably my other character I kind of want to see do have a little more work. Uh, Soleil. Soleil. I noticed that her damage isn't great. It's like, I, I was just, her kit's fine. It's not a terrible kit, from what I can tell. Uh, give it to where that she can fire more fireballs. She can do more overall damage scaling. Or give her increased attack, because... From what I can tell when using her in the content that I do use her in, like, for example, the the bits with you, you get the, you get the, bit for, for that period, I'm already forgetting, I'm right, I can just look at it, the factions, I don't say her damage do a whole lot, if she, if you can, if her damage can just be increased on that, that will be really good, and probably my, even though I'd probably say that on the final, this, this would ultimately be my final one, um, just buff Cyclone again, make it to where his damage is better, and he can 
do it can, you can you can do this a lot better you can just do so much more if you could do that he could probably be actually kind of viable and not just be a trash tier character these are kind of some hot takes I'll, pro I'll likely do more because I do want to say go around a few a few characters and say this is this is who I think should get a buff and is, in some way should this is my idea on what they could be buffed with and that's just kind of how I kind of I'm, I'm not sure how many I'm going to do but I'm definitely going to be doing oh, quite a bit for the rares and the epics maybe some of the lower tier legendaries like I did with Ezrin but that my uh, I'm not 100% sure on the legendaries uh, though I will say please give me your opinions in the comments below to see if you agree or disagree or any other things you would like to see with this game happen I think it will be really good and overall if if things things like can happen it could improve the overall health of the game and probably improve its longevity but that will remain to be seen anyways thank you for everyone for watching the video make sure you hit the like button make sure you subscribe and and again, of course, leave a comment on your opinions on things, and I will see you all in the next video. You all have a great night and a nice dinner.